Hey everyone, a little bonus here. There are tons more questions I could have asked on this problem, and I'm not sure why I didn't. We created a divide and conquer solution to this problem, but we didn't even memoize it. So you could do all kinds of things here. You could write down a recurrence that describes the performance of the divide and conquer solution, which will be terrible, by the way. You could uh, convert this to a memoized solution. That you should definitely do. And it's not very hard. You just need to keep track of a table of solutions. But you should be thinking about how big is that table of solutions? How do I index into it? What do I store at each entry? And so on and so forth. You can then convert this into a dynamic programming solution. It's a little tricky to order the problems, uh, the subproblems in this particular uh, in this particular algorithm. So converting it into dynamic programming is non-trivial. You should give it a shot. You should analyze the runtime performance of this algorithm. You should analyze, uh, when it's memoized, you should analyze the memory use of the algorithm when it's memoized. Same for dynamic programming. And you should see if, with dynamic programming, you are able to reduce the table size as long as you don't need the actual solution. You just need the minimum number of jobs, not which jobs they are. And then finally, that brings up if you've got the memoized solution or the dynamic programming solution, you end up with this table. You should write the code that will extract the actual solution from the table. I can't believe I didn't ask all of these questions, but you know, you can look for yourself. Here is the end of the question, and boom, it goes on to the giving tree. So it's a bummer, but you should solve those. Memoize this algorithm. Analyze, give a recurrence that describes the runtime of the non memoized version. Convert the memoized version to dynamic programming. Analyze the performance of the memoized version. Analyze the performance of the dynamic programming version. Analyze the memory usage of both of them. And then once you've got the table, find a way to reconstruct the solutions.